Hi guys, this is Prompt Engineer and in this short video, we are going to look how we can summarize a YouTube video. So the chain is simple. We are going to load in the URLs. We're going to use Langchain to load the transcripts from the URLs or, or the video. And then we are going to split the transcripts into chunks so that the LLM or the OpenAI in this case will be able to read in the chunks and OpenAI will summarize the different chunks and ultimately we are going to display the summary uh, in a web app and that will be created using streamlit so let's move on so here is the code that will enable us to do that the required libraries are imported including uh, youtube transcript api langchain tiktoken and streamlit these libraries are used for accessing youtube transcripts language processing summarization and building the web application interface then the title of the web app is set as youtube summarizer red toolbox so the toolbox word is displayed in red color so this is a syntax uh, for that next an environment variable named openai api key is set with an open api key this key can be obtained by going to platform.openai.com accounts api keys and then we're going to create a new key create secret key copy the key and paste it in there and paste it in this location an instance of the openai class is created and assigned to the variable llm the temperature parameter is set to zero which controls the randomness of the generated text. Now the user is prompted to enter a YouTube video URL in using the text input field. Now, you, now, if, the, now if the user enters an URL, the code executes the following steps. It creates a YouTuber or YouTube loader object named loader and loads the YouTube video data using the entered URL. The loaded data is stored in the docs variable a character text splitter object named text splitter is created with specific parameters. The text splitter is used to split the loaded documents into smaller chunks, which are stored in split underscore docs. A summarization chain is loaded using the load summarize chain function, passing in the LLM object and specifying the chain type as uh, MapReduce in this case. The chain dot run method is used uh, is called with split docs as the input, which performs the summarization process. The summarized output is displayed using st.write from Streamlit. Now, here is the code. Let's run this. So in order to run the code, we are going to open up a new terminal. And then we are going to write a Streamlit uh, run and the name of the Python file, which is u.py. And then we have this app. YouTube uh, summarizer toolbox and it is asking to paste in the URL. So let us go to my channel, which is prompt engineer. And let's take up, for example, this video, let's right click and uh, copy link address and paste it in on this uh, location. Let's wait for the summary to appear. Langchain is a cutting edge framework released in late 2022 that enables developers to build end-to-end -end applications powered by large language models from popular providers. Divided into six components, models, prompts, indexes, memory chains, and index agents. Uh, we need a comma here. This video provides an overview of how Langchain works and showcases multiple use cases of Langchain that have already been implemented by the community. Next, uh, let us look at another video, for example, Frugal GPT. Copy link address, paste it, press enter, and wait for five seconds maybe. This paper from this paper from Stanford University looks at how to reduce the cost and improve the performance of large language models while still providing the same benefit. It proposes the frugal GPT model, which uses multiple API servers to decide which one to use and improve accuracy while lowering cost. Experiments were conducted using three datasets and results showed substantial cost reduction. The paper also discusses the limitation of this technology, such as latency, fairness, privacy, and environmental impact. Prompt Engineer is asking viewers to subscribe to the channel to help boost their model. model. Okay. For creating interesting videos in the future so as you can see this is interesting now if you want if you don't want to waste time you know watching a very long video you can just read the summary and if you like the summary then maybe you can watch the video let's do another one mojo playground copy this copy the link paste it here and press enter wait for six seconds maybe prompt engineer is introducing the mojo platform prompt engineer is introducing the mojo platform a new programming language on May 7, 2023, is demonstrating the Jupyter Notebook and the Hello Mojo file, which is designed as a superset of Python. This article discusses the use of Python in the Mojo module, immutable variables in C, struct, type checking, matrix multiplication, vectorizing dynamos loop, parallelizing multi matrix multiplication, and tiling matrix multiplication to increase speed. Just the last one. Uh, let's look at this. 
copy link address put in here enter this video talks about mosaic ml has released mpt 7b an open source commercially usable language model that has the potential to replace existing large language models such as gpt gpt4 llama 7b it has trained from scratch in one trillion tokens of text equipped with highly efficient open source training code extremely hand handling and can handle extremely long inputs 6.7 billion parameters uses flash attention and fast transformer tested on the great gatsby which is able to reproduce on one shot in 20 seconds it is also capable of converting an input to json and can be used for conversations open ai is using 10 sources of data with 330 billion tokens to train the data i hope you got the understanding of how this works in summary we're taking the url load the transcripts split into chunks and summarize using open ai and display it in the streamlet if you like this video please subscribe to my channel like and share this video as well in next video i am going to maybe implement uh, queries here so once you load up the summary you can ask questions or queries to uh, with regards uh, regarding the video regarding this particular video and that will be great so see you next time until then have a nice day